Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, War of the Realms, issue number four. Look, if you're not on the book by now, you're not going to get on the freaking book. I don't know what to tell you, man. But um, it's nice and thick. There's some great reading inside. There were no problems with the book. There's some things that didn't quite work as well as I thought they were going to, but nonetheless, um, Odin is fiery passionate in this one. That's always like the best Odin. All right, so let's get started on this, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the book. This is Chapter 4, The Stand at the Black Bridge, written by Jason Aaron, drawn by Russell Dauterman, colors by Matthew Wilson, and letters by VCs Joe Sabino. Arthur Adams and Matthew Wilson do the cover art. Whole lot of people doing a whole lot of co uh, variant covers. Logo and realm symbols were made by Patrick McGrath. All right, so... Um, she-Hulk and uh, Lady Freya are making their last stand at uh, in Svartalfheim uh, at the Black Gate, the, the Black Bridge, and um, <laughs> She-Hulk is sent home. Actually, not even home. She's sent to the, the realms of the dwarves, uh, Nidalilir, so that she can try and uh, make an impassioned speech for the uh, dwarves. And the way that she speaks, her speech was about as impassioned as anything that Captain America could ever say. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun that was generally fun like like this is jason aaron just having some fun with a comic book man that was beautiful i like that um something that didn't work quite so well tony stark and another dwarf once again like it's tony stark is involved so what's he gonna do is he gonna create some great device for peace that'll make the no no he makes a goddamn suit of armor for freaking uh, Odin. Listen, that's really cute. And like like this, I have to be a little bit, well, not just critical of. I, have to, I'm, I almost feel insulted by this. Odin has a set of armor that he made for himself. It's called the Destroyer Armor. It was able to stand up against the uh, Celestials. Was it able to beat the Celestials? Well, no. It's not the point. But you think that something that Tony Stark could build is going to freaking stand up to it? Okay. Um, oh, uh, everybody contributed a little bit to it. Uh, um, Shuri laced it with uh, Wakandan Vibranium. F Wakandan Vibranium. Yo, Wakandan Vibranium, just Vibranium in general, um, is freaking awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the Antarctic kind or otherwise, Vibranium is awesome for us mortals. But for the gods, you go to Uru. You're, you're, sorry, when... When has Vibranium ever been a plausible substitute, even a mediocre substitute, for Uru? Nah, wrong, bro. Even Adamantium can't stand up to freaking Uru. So this is this is a silly conversation from beginning to end. Um, they made him a suit of armor. He's got the Destroyer armor. Somebody else is using the Destroyer armor right now. I don't know who it is because we already saw what happened in the um, uh, Asgardians of the Galaxy. Uh, but we know where that left arm went. Thor is using it, which I think we've seen. The only reason why I'm even mentioning this is because we've seen it in plenty of the uh, solicits coming up. We've seen it in, um, what do you call it, some of the other covers and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it, we don't see how he got it, but cool. I'm down with it. Maybe the next issue of Thor. Um, but, but Odin was really impassioned in this, and he wound up getting um, Frey a little hot and bothered. I bet she felt like the phoenix. Oh, yeah, that's messed up. Sorry, didn't mean to bring up the XGF. Hmm. <laughs> so, this was a fun comic book, man. There was a whole lot of really cool high spots in here. Uh, again, aside from the whole thing like, you know, oh, hey, check it out. First appearance of, of Odin's, you know, new art. F Odin's new armor. As far as I'm concerned, I'm already blanking that out of freaking existence. Dumb ideas are dumb ideas, all right? In, in, in a comic book where there are amazing ideas like Freya being stabbed to death by Venom. With Venom. Dude. <laughs> There's some great ideas in here. But the armor, man, come on. <laughs> I, I, uh, I I don't want to get too insulting with that one, but like I could sit here and I could start making some serious freaking jokes about that one. That just that just doesn't make sense. Uh, like for for a guy like Aaron who knows the history of Thor, to think that this was gonna, you know, make fans go, oh my god. No, no, no. I have this comic book. I will not be writing on I like to write 
little things on the um, on a sticker on the front of the comic book. First appearance of, or important because this is the story arc that begins, you know, do things like that, you know? I will have nothing to say about this one. <laughs> nothing. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.